All right, right. we're going to head out to Joe Biden headquarters. He is on the stage right now, and his wife, and we expect them to speak to that crowd here in just a moment. Let's listen. Folks, well, it looks like it's going to be a long night, but I'm feeling good. <laughs> I want to thank you all, all our supporters, and all those incredible people who hold public office in this state that endorsed us and all the endorsers from all across the country, my colleagues in the Senate, in the House, and from the Vice Presidency, all of you, and all the people from Delaware, California, all the people came from all over to kept campaign here. I want to tell you. <laughs> and most of all, I want to thank the Iowans that are here. The Iowa Democratic Party is working to get this result, uh, get them straight. And I want to make sure they're very careful in their deliberations. <laughs> and uh, indications are, from our indications, it's going to be close. We're going to walk out of here with uh, our share of delegates. We don't know exactly what it is yet, but we feel good about where we are. And look, so, so it's on to New Hampshire. Remember, not just tonight, but throughout this campaign, this is a, this, thank you. This, this isn't just another election. This is well beyond this, our party. This is about uh, ending an era of, uh, well, ending an era, God willing, of, of a president who, uh, look, we, this is bigger than any of us. It really is. We cannot, we cannot allow Donald Trump to be reelected to the United States presidency again. I'm ready to give him a new nickname. The former President Trump, Chris. The former President Trump. And folks, as I said, it's bigger than any candidate, bigger than any party, and uh, Folks, uh, you know, I said from the outset, Jill and I both said, we're in a battle for the soul of the nation. And that's not hyperbole. We really believe that, and I think it's been demonstrated every single hour he remains as president of the United States. Folks, each and every one of us knows that uh, deep in our bones that everything this nation stands for is at stake. And I really mean it. Four more years of Donald Trump will fundamentally alter the character of this nation. And character is on the ballot. That's what this is. Everything that makes America, America is at stake, and uh, literally, uh, our democracy is at stake, in my view, our view. I say our view, because you've been doing as hard as I have. <laughs> folks. And folks. I love her, too, man. <laughs> well, I tell you what. And the other reason we're running and gonna, we're going to make sure it happens is we've got to rebuild the backbone of this country. The working class, the middle class, they've been getting laid out badly by this administration. The middle class is being hurt very badly. But look, you know what? We have, uh, we have to unify this country as well. Everybody understands that, that CEOs and uh, Wall Street bankers didn't build America. Ordinary, hardworking people led by unions build America. <laughs> unions. And folks, we need a president who's not only ready to fight, but is also ready to heal this country. We can't hold grudges. We've got to be able to go out and unify the country, because the president is supposed to heal as well as fight. And that's exactly what I plan on doing, we plan on doing, all of us in this hall plan on doing. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, I'm going to uh, go all over this country, every part of the Democratic Party, and we unite it. Men, women, gay, straight, everyone, black, brown, a whole universe of people out there. Because folks, folks, there's nothing, nothing we've ever failed at when we've tried to do it together. Nothing America's ever, ever failed at. And so, ladies and gentlemen, all my friends, I, uh, and by the way, I want to take a special thanks again to Alice Schaeberg and the firefighters. You've been incredible to us. You've been incredible to us. But folks, uh, everybody knows who Donald Trump is. Well, it's fortunate they do know now. 
They didn't know last time, I don't think. But they know now. And folks, we got to let them know who we are. We, we choose hope over fear. We choose, we choose science over fiction. Unity over division. And compassion over cruelty. And maybe most importantly of all, truth over lies. Folks, we're going to do this, I promise you. I promise you we're going to get this done. And God willing, God willing, we'll do it together. May God bless you all and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. On to, on to New Hampshire.